Welcome to another vegan cheat day. <laughs> Today it's been a couple months since I last checked on the uh, high meat uh, project here. And uh, <clears throat> I want to make a couple notes. Firstly, <clears throat> I think it's a good practice to record how often you actually open and aerate your high meat. And that's what we're going to do today. So you see, I opened it, started this on December 11th. I opened it on the 15th of December, just a few days later. And I've intentionally let it sit for another couple of months rather than check on it every week or so like I had intended to do. So I'm going to open it in a second here. And I'm just going to put today's date here, 2923 so that I uh, don't lose track of when it was last aerated. Now, I want to make a comment about the actual jar itself um, because it's starting to smell a little of that putrid, that stench, that delicious putrid stench coming through this, which means that the manufacturer of this jar didn't really didn't do a very good job, okay? And we'll just let you see where it comes from. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, it's from Wally World. It's a Walmart thing. So, yeah. So, if you're going to do this sort of thing, you may want to uh, source your jars somewhere else. But here we're going to do is we're going to open it. We're out in the sunshine and the air is flowing. And it's probably going to stink. So, oh boy. I can smell it right now. And then I want to kind of take it and just kind of stir it. Darn it, looks like the video stopped. So what I said before is this jar actually comes from Walmart and it's leaking a little bit. But what I have here is some pieces of meat that are more reddish. And I have some pieces of meat that are more greenish, right? <laughs> And what I want is them all to kind of get an equal texture of red and green, right? So I'm intentionally stirring them up here, and I'm going to leave them out in the air for just a few minutes here. And we might try one of these chunks. So it's been about three minutes, and already the flies nearby are starting to notice. Stir it up a little more. Try a piece here. Try a piece of this putrid meat. Tastes about right. It's got kind of that creamy texture now, which high meat should have. A little sour, a little sweet, kind of sweet and sour, rotten meat here. So anyway, we've let it air out. We have uh, kind of aerated it, stirred it up a little bit. This is what it's going to look like in the bottom of your jar. It's going to become a juicy mess, and it's really not going to look so appetizing. But keep in mind that you're creating... A source of K2 from whole foods from meat and you need that K2 anyway I'm gonna seal it up again put it back in the cabinet and we'll call it another vegan cheat day have a happy one guys